Now that Wall Street is paying attention to this former penny stock, there's no telling how far it will go. It may not be a penny stock anymore, but it still trades at fairly low levels considering its potential for growth. This is a name that investors should be watching closely as oil prices continue to rise. We're talking about INDO stock, Indonesia Energy Corp. It is on the move. It's so crazy here. It has gained, consider, it's just rocking up gains and extending and accelerating, you know? It's unbelievable what's going on here. Some time ago, not very long ago, this stock was trading at where? Look at that, at $2.74, just at the end of February, at the, at, at the end of uh, January, it was trading at $2.74, okay? At the beginning of uh, January, it was at $3.7 six dollars now it is at 47.95 unbelievable volume is at 51 million it's rising i think it started to rise it started to rally up late i think in this session it is unbelievable what's going on here with um, indo stock obviously it's all associated with with, with uh, oil you know let's uh, quickly see whether we can uh, strike out a target here Let's take a uh, 43, 40, 44, 44, and 42. So we have uh, 2.02, just, just, just uh, 0.2 times 2.618 we have uh, 5.28 added to 48.2 we have a target of 53.48 i think that's quite ambitious for the three point for 30 for the 53.48 it looks really ambitious it looks really ambitious but it can get there you know and the good thing about this this rally is that um let's just see what i rallied in the pre-market session it didn't rally in the pre-market session you can see it was just flat you can see so um it's going to be an interesting one because uh, because it's rallying in this session it gives uh, market participants the opportunity to get involved as against um, the pre-market case where not everybody can really participate it is uh, losing ground now it is losing, losing ground at the moment. Almost uh, going to get support from its 10 minute moving average. And indeed, some other stocks like um, OXY. Occidental has actually gained a lot, 15.48. This is more of a stable uh, all-American stock. Is it, can it get there to $53? Don't bank on that. So let's catch up with the volumes. This is a late, a late rally for IND of stock. It started to rally late. Let's see whether there's any news. Oh, it was halted at some point. Okay, that was yesterday, not today. It says energy stocks are climbing pre bell. Okay. As the energy uh, sector XLE uh, was recently advanced by $0.53, the United States oil fund and the United States natural gas fund were each up uh, more than 2%. WTI crude was up uh, $3.74 uh, 3 to 111 per barrel. At the New York uh, Merchant Mercantile Exchange, global benchmark crude gained 3.49 uh, to 113.95 per barrel and natural gas futures were 0 0.16 higher at 4.89 per 1 million British uh, BTU and INDO stock was gaining 13% amid rising global oil uh, prices. Ranger Oil, ROCC, 
said it from uh, promoted uh, Julio uh, Guanel T to CEO effective immediately. Immediately, Range Oil was recently up more than two percent. So that's that's the news there. So it uh, was up that thirteen percent in the pre-market session. Now we are the volumes are accelerating. You can see it's okay cooling off now. Now has now fallen below its uh, ten minute moving average, but still still very much bullish. The energy is there. Okay, right now sellers are you know having upper hand, but even at that, they're just uh, nipping off the, the 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 gains. That's why we have this RSI that, uh, um, um, below. I mean, uh, sloping downwards, but the buyers, the, the effect of uh, the buyers uh, still still very much there. And the, the 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 sellers have not taken over. If it falls below fifty, then uh, sellers are in control. But right now, they are you know, denting the the impact of uh, the buyers. That's why we have the RSI at sixty sixty four point three six. At some point, it was way more than that. Okay, it's inching up again. The RSI is inching up again. Momentum is waning slightly. That's because also because the stock is all, itself is also waning. Our target is at fifty three point four eight eight. Can it get there? There's no guarantee it's gonna get there. There's no guarantee at all it's gonna get there. And this oil rally, well, given what's going on in uh, Ukraine, as a as a result of what Russia is doing there, there's every chance this will continue to be the case. You know, but um, OPEC can any time can any time um, begin to increase their output. You know, because right now we can see the price per barrel has increased. It may motivate them to supply more. You know, yeah, that that uh, and when that happens, there's every chance um, iron deal stock might uh, collapse. But you know, the, the folks at um, Investor Place are, are saying that uh, they don't think it might uh, become a penny stock anymore. Okay, let's see how things uh, will pan out. So the gain is now $127.03. Let's look at the, do we have, uh, is that what we have here? The fundamental, okay. Let's look at the the daily chart on the static page. And we'll, we'll get it, an idea of its uh, underlying trend. You can see, yes, yeah. Price reached a new 52 week high of uh, $42. This exceeds the previous high of 25.2 by uh, 16.75. This and is 1509% uh, above the 52 week low of 2.61. So, this 52 week high occurred today. Yesterday, there was also a 52 week high. You can see that the underlying trend it has now become uh, bullish now. Okay, and you can see, still see market cap is only still $150 million and also a very small float. So, very interesting things going on. There's every chance they they can even quickly begin to raise more capital, given all that has happened with, to the stock of late. So, so right now, it has uh, fallen below its uh, 20 minute moving moving average. Momentum is also of getting oversold. It's getting weak, and uh, sellers are you know short sellers, I believe, uh, you know denting the stock. They are gradually. Uh, Taking control, gradually getting there. It's now at fifty point nine seven. They have, um, you know, uh, nipped off all the gains, all the momentum of the buyers at the moment. Okay, so we'll continue to update you. Our target is uh, fifty three. It looks we we came up with this target quite late, but uh, uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It's uh, fifty three point four eight eight. Don't uh, bank on that. We'll continue to update you concerning INDO stock. Thank you very much for watching this video.